I used to love bookstores. I have a favorite one in every city. It's always where I'd go if I felt lost. Now all I can think is, how did anyone care enough to write so many words? I used to be inspired by cities, by the brilliance of the mind, architecture, statues. Now all I can think is, what is there really to celebrate in man's accomplishment? The whole world is dying. I guess winters are important. I used to hate sleeping. Now it's all I want to do. Sometimes I wonder if my dreams are trying to tell me something. I've gotten into tarot. I wouldn't believe it, but it's always right. I think I'm transforming so much I don't have energy to do much else. Sometimes I even miss you. Then I remember how much you hurt me. Then I miss you again anyway. I stopped falling asleep pretending I was holding your hand. It's hard to get out of bed in the morning. Sometimes I wake up with such hopeless thoughts that I have to lie there for at least an hour to convince myself they're not true. It's getting better. I've been meditating in the morning, going for walks. It's amazing how much better everything feels in the sun. I try to appreciate the little things. The smell of coffee beans, rose in my rose tea, the rose spoon I stir my tea with, dancing to diamonds and rust on repeat, the way the light comes in through the window, the birds I can hear even over the cars on Sunset Boulevard, dancing instead of doing dishes. I read somewhere that sometimes depression is just your soul ready for a larger spirituality. I've been hiking Runyon every day. I created a vortex at the top of the hill where I sit and imagine all my dreams coming true. There's a war in Russia and Ukraine, so today in my vortex, I sat and expanded my heart as large as it could go, hoping to send love out to everyone, and to everyone's dreams. Right now I only feel right when I'm alone, or with Renata. I was staying at her place while she was home in Russia. No one knew the war was going to happen, other than what we must have all been feeling in our bodies. I loved how Renata kept books and pictures all around by artists like Frida Kahlo and Patti Smith, and how she'd refer to each piece as if the woman herself was there in the room with us. Sometimes with her, I felt like we were already dead and famous. When she finally made it back, I think she was shocked and brokenhearted. But today, she said she was starting to feel joy in her body again. So we decided to celebrate our birthdays, New Year's, and Christmas all at once, we celebrated by playing melodica, making pancakes, and picnicking on the floor with all of our paintings and poetry. We must transform it, she says. We must transmute our pain into beauty. It's our job as artists. Sometimes I think, why would anyone want to love me? That maybe I'm too much of a different world for someone to want to keep me here. But I've tried this world, and my soul won't stay fully in it. Maybe I've had enough love for a lifetime anyway. Sometimes I even think I might be done with this world. But then an idea of inspiration pops into my head, a little stirring in my solar plexus. And I remember I have felt this way before. It's hard to be in love with things. They always leave you somehow where you leave them. Sometimes the beauty fades, but then you realize it's really just how you're looking at it. Then you have to practice looking the right way, which really is no right way at all, it's just a way. But then you can choose to keep your heart open when it wants to run and hide. You can choose to fight the fear constantly because the love that's underneath it is worth the fight. And if you're not fighting the fear, then you're fighting yourself anyway. Sometimes I don't want to be deep anymore. Deep sounds like a bad thing. It sounds down. But it's also up. 
up into the heavens and out to hold so much, though we must let it come and go. Perhaps it's time to focus on the up, not the down. I have excavated down and down, and I have hit the stars. It seems so unfair to have to feel all of this, to have our hearts broken again and again. But then another thought. Maybe it was all worth it, to break us open into something we didn't even know we were capable of being, to bring us somewhere we didn't even know we wanted to be. So many men have spent their lives hoping for heaven. But I've already found it here. And so many things.